in thinking about designing for the iPhone, for this mobile technology, there was kind of this thought about, this higher level thought somehow of thinking about the role of technology. And this actually goes back, thought back 20 years back to uh, the days, the beginnings of what we might call ubiquitous computing with Mark Weiser and his team at Xerox Park. One of his tenets was that technology should not be in our faces all the time. It should be more in our subconscious. And with this, we designed this other one social feature into Ocarina. And, and that is the globe feature with which you can listen to other people around the world. So there's a globe here. And from the location here, this looks like maybe Portugal. Playing some a non-specific melody. Free jazz, maybe. Um, from Atlanta. Um, and with this feature, the thought is that we wanted to hide technology as much as possible in the design. And we actually saw this comment on, uh, on iTunes for Ocarina and said, uh, this is my piece on Earth. I'm currently deployed in rock and hell on Earth is an everyday occurrence. A few nights I may half off, I'm deeply engaged in this app, the globe features that let you hear any, everyone else in the world playing the most calming art I've ever been introduced to. It brings the entire world together without politics or war. It's the exact opposite of my life. And when we saw this, um, it's, uh, it felt like, okay, well, if we reached this one person, then it was worth it in actually creating this product. But two, it was nice because we wanted the, this feature, the entire product. It, it, when you first open the globe, your thoughts should not be, this is cool technology. It should be something like a visceral, emotional response, even if, even if it's a small one, to think that, hey, there is someone somewhere out there that's also blowing into their iPhone and making some music. So with that, uh, I think that's all I have.